I'm proud of my state of Pennsylvania because they put their money behind life and they are not afraid to promote life to its citizens through this program and to teach ch their children that pregnancy isn't a punishment, that it's a gift. That's what makes this unique. It's the first government funded program that promotes life. We only provide life affirming services. We do have a program that is able to help women that are in need and to give them other alternatives. I can't tell you how often we find our clients being pressured by someone else to have an abortion. If a woman gets pregnant and has nowhere to turn, it's a very lonely time for her and it is a, it is a crisis. Without the support, they can feel trapped in a decision that they just don't want to make. But because we're there, we can blunt that pressure. So she's free to choose what she normally would want to do without that pressure, without that negative pressure. Funding a program that provides support to women in crisis pregnancy is no different than funding programs like domestic violence and rape crisis centers. This program heads off abuse at the very beginning. This program takes tax dollars and pays for a counselor. The time it takes a counselor to be with that woman from the moment of conception to 12 months after birth of the child. This is a program that finds support across the board from Democrats and Republicans. All of us want to come together to reduce the number of abortions, lower abortions in Pennsylvania. It's wonderful to work on something that you don't have to be partisan at all. The first year we started, we served 6,715 clients with about 72 centers. 13 years later, we're now at six and a half million dollars a year. We have 120 plus centers, and we've just served 19,724 women. Um, nine years ago, we only had 44 girls come to our program throughout the year, and now going on our 13th year, we have two buildings, we have 15 employees, and we're serving over 112 clients. The reason we were able to reach out to more women who are in a crisis pregnancy is because we had the resources to hire more counselors, open more sites, have television, have outreach booths, so women knew they didn't have to be alone after the pregnancy has occurred. Any woman in Pennsylvania within an hour from any one of our sites uh, can receive services. We are all over Pennsylvania, our service provider sites, from Erie to Philadelphia, from Scranton to Pittsburgh. We cover the entire state. Pennsylvania has gotten what it's paid for tenfold in regards to this program and funding this program. What do you get out of that, you know? Well, they get empowerment. They get another choice. They get love and support. They have the opportunity to meet some of the best people our country has to offer. Uh, we ended up with a fantastic program, well worth the money, and, um, and just doing many, many good things. You know, this is one of those programs that once people find out about it, it just blossoms. I'll never forget our first television campaign in the Philadelphia demographic marketing area. You know, normally we would get about 10 calls on our hotline uh, a, a week, you know, without any advertising. With advertising through television, we ended up getting 40 to 50 a day. Imagine that taxpayers' dollars being used for television commercials that promote life. The moment those clients realized there was another choice, there could possibly be another venue, there possibly could be another way. Once they heard about that program in a 30 second commercial, we had great demand for the services. And I think that's a big thing that uh, Real Alternatives has helped us do. It's been able to um, educate the community, you know, where we are in the city of there are things out there, there are options, there is help available. Twelve years that Lifeline's been involved with Real Alternatives, we have grown and blossomed and everyone has benefited, our clients, our staff, and the community in general. You know, a lot of assumptions are that these young mothers will be a drain on society and a drain on a on the economy and a drain on other programs. 
Uh, but we have uh, found just the opposite. With a very good program, you can have great outcomes. We have found that 85% of the women we serve after they have gone through our program believe they are self-sufficient and can take care of themselves. Um, to parent their child, to accept their child from the womb that, okay, I can do this. Um, we do survive pregnancy. Um, and, and I can parent now because I understand how that works. We have very strict requirements on what it takes to become a service provider in the program so that we know what type of an agency is, uh, who we might be partnering with someday, and whether or not we believe that they can follow the program guidelines and rules to make sure again that the taxpayer money is being spent appropriately. Real Alternatives was the organization that gave us the opportunity to continue to grow and expand. We have actual contracts with all of these service providers throughout the state, so it's a contractual relationship and we make sure that that contract is being followed. In the case of Real Alternatives money, our counselors, our offices earn every dollar they get. They, they earn the money before they get it, uh, just like in sales and industry. I mean, it's, it's, it's an excellent way to do it. We then do site monitorings every year of the service providers. We actually go out and we have an extensive checklist that we go through, um, 20-some page checklist, that we go through every aspect of their program. We know exactly where funding is going. We know exactly why the money's being spent. And we know what the outcomes are. And so the, the, it's obvious that the money is being spent as efficiently as possible for the right objectives. The administrative cost of real alternatives is below 10 percent. Now I defy anybody that's in government to be able to say that. It has low administrative cost at 8.23 percent. It's unheard of in Pennsylvania to have this type of an efficiency. The way this program is administered is pretty much flawless. Uh, no complaints, uh, nobody writing to us uh, with a, a concern just a beautiful program that works.